Welcome back. Today we'll be working on deflator hosen. I'll be laying out the parts and uh, showing you um, what the parts are and what they do. Today we're gathering up all the parts that we need to make a deflator hoser. We've chosen a yellow hose because this one we are making for Yellow JL. For assembling all the fittings, the threaded fittings, we are going to be using Blue Monster thread sealing. Uh, it's uh, easier to apply than wrapping nylon tape around each of the threads and it's, it's, and it's faster. This is 50 foot of Goodyear rubber hose, uh, 3 8 diameter. I chose 3 8 diameter because it'll flow more air. I chose a rubber hose because it doesn't have a memory. When rolled up, it does take up more space than a quarter inch hose. As an aircraft mechanic, I'm used to using 3 8 hose. I was using air tools with a quarter inch hose that didn't have, it didn't flow enough air. Perhaps a quarter inch hose will be just fine for your purposes. The deflator hosen will be routed from the compressor, which is mounted under the hood, to the left front tire, then to the left rear tire, then to the right rear tire, and finally to the front right tire. For the first three tires, we will be using a barb T with an air chuck to mount to uh, each of the valve stems for each of the tires. For the last tire, we will be simply connecting an air chuck to the end of the hose. This is what we're gonna be building to control the air. This will allow us to uh, air up from the compressor or air down. To air up, we simply connect to the air compressor, open the valve, let it do its thing, close the valve, check the pressure. You guys with JLs, you have a built-in pressure gauge on your instrument panel, so that would be easy for you guys to check. For us with JKs, we don't have such a luxury, thus we have the Schrader valve, plus, we have other ideas for uses for the trader valve, which we will detail later. To deflate the tires, you simply connect the deflator hose into all four tires, open the control valve, let the air out until you reach the desired pressure, and then when you're done, disconnect, roll it up, put the hose away. In our next video, we will start assembling deflator hosing. Stay tuned for all the fun and excitement to come. Thanks for watching.